best part of being a camera operator on Game of Thrones is the privilege of making a story with the camera in front of some of the best artists in the world, reading the best words that I've heard written for a long time. My name's Sean Savage. I'm the A camera operator on Dragon Unit, Game of Thrones. I started on Game of Thrones 2010. One of the first scenes I operated on on Game of Thrones was some of the uh, Night's Watch leaving the tunnel to go north beyond the wall. I've contributed to every episode since then. Over those eight seasons, uh, the Dragon Unit, I've had the privilege of shooting scenes like Battle of Blackwater Bay, The Red Wedding, Hard Home, which is extraordinary, an amazing sequence, followed by Bob, and then followed last year by The Ice Lake. I think by the end it'll be close on 73 episodes. Some of the challenges that the directors have thrown at us with their ideas, huge moves amongst ships and castle walls and the visual effects requirements, those technically have challenged us to our sort of limit, I'd say. I think if you ask me what my favorite scene over those eight years was, it's when Jon Snow is forced to the ground and then trampled and this seemingly immortal hero of ours looks like he's close to the end. It's something that Miguel Sapochnik, the director, put into the show. It wasn't entirely scripted like that. Kit went to ground, I stood over him, and these stunt guys piled in, and we had a sort of safe word where we could call it off at any point. We had to see that the light closed up so on Kit's face, and at that point, I just urged Kit to get off the ground and stand up again and I think you can see that it's, it is a true struggle. Um, Bob was by far the biggest challenge, the scale of it, the organization, and the ambition that Miguel had. The attrition of going into that situation every day, solidly for 23 days, was a huge challenge. The nature of the story of Game of Thrones and the, and the landscape it's set in has really thrown it at us. We've abandoned sets because of floods, rock falls, snowstorms, wind. It wouldn't be Game of Thrones if these things didn't crop up. <laughs> Not knowing that I would do end up doing eight years on the biggest show in the world, Game of Thrones has been absolutely fantastic because it was the right time, right place. My level of experience at the time was suited, I think, to the show. I put the right team around me on the Dragon Unit. Um, so for me, it's been very lucky in certain ways, but, you know, it's, I think, meant to be to a degree, I feel sometimes, and I've loved it. I think it's, it'll be a legacy of mine, which, you know, I'll carry forever. <laughs>